Hello everyone, Sylvain from CyberName again with another tutorial. Today's topic, creating your uh, free email accounts. Something you qualify for with the registration of every uh, domain at CyberName.com. So if you have three domains with us, you qualify for three times two, for two, uh, six free, free email accounts uh, at CyberName.com. I will be showing you three screens in this presentation. And the first one is the login screen, web-based email login screen, or we call it the webmail screen. And to go to this one, you go to webmail at, in my case, his new domain.ca. Okay, in your case, it would be your domain name, and it will bring you to this page. Now, in this, uh, in this page, you will type in your new email account that we'll create in a second, but I've already created it. You will type in um, the domain personalized email account with your domain. Now I put the next screen uh, beside this one because in the control panel login, you will, uh, which is accessible through store.cybername.com here, you will type in as login the email address that you use to register your domain name, the email address that you access your customer a login dashboard area. Okay, so remember to log into your web based email, use your uh, email address which is tied to your domain name, that's simple enough. And to go to the control panel in uh, cybername.com, it's just the regular email address uh, that you access your domain and your services in the client login uh, area. Now, and once you uh, access your web-based email, it will look something like this, but this is empty since, see it says empty here, I can't hi highlight it. It says empty because I haven't sent emails or received any emails yet. Let's start at the beginning creating the account. So remember you go to store.cybername.com. We're not buying anything here, but the free email account, uh, like other free offerings we have, you will find in our store. Okay. Now, customer login, remember the email address here, and type in your password. And before you click the login button, remember you're not a reseller yet, but you can be very easily. You can ask us about that. You are a customer at the, for the time being, and you click login. Remember, if ever you forget your password, click on this, and you will get a temporary password to log in. So now we clicked on the login to the store of CyberName. Okay, before we see the actual goodies in the store, you will have to specify the domain name right here. In our case, it's his new domain.ca, which we purchased. And you select that. And you click on the arrow to go to that. Now, why is that? That is because you can use the store to buy goodies for each domain name you purchase from us individually. That is the reason for this page. Click on the double arrow and you enter the store. Now let's go straight to email and if you scroll down to the bottom you look for email. Ah, oh, you see something business email. What you have is not business email. You could if you buy it but it's not right now. You want to go further down, further down here we go, manage email. Now, here you will see, for, okay, I'm going to highlight email. Here is where you manage your email, okay? Before clicking into that area and to show you how to administer your email, you may notice some yellow sign saying that your email service is not configured correctly. Do not worry about this, okay? Um, you may configure it now if you want to, if you're experienced, uh, if not, don't worry about it, you just click on to manage email and so on. If ever you have any questions about any items, any yellow um, uh, alerts, just remember to contact support at cybername.com. But we will not worry about that and click on the email. Now here is where you administer your email and create your email. Okay, let's look at the three tabs. The first is the dashboard. And the second is mail, and third is settings. Okay, now let's look at 
Here we go. Uh, you see here, account overview. Okay, that's what we're looking at right now. You will see you get two free email accounts and they are active. Okay. Now, mailing lists, I didn't create any yet because I didn't send any emails. I have no uh, email addresses in my contact list. And the account quota is empty. Nothing yet. Okay. Now, on the right here, you see an envelope. It's written actions. You can click on add user. And this is where you add your first email account. Okay, you can type in your name, first and last. You can type in a display, a nickname if you wish here, something that will be displayed or not. Uh, it, no, it will, it will be displayed, uh, but it's optional. Your desired email address. You could add, for instance, info at hisnewdomain.ca or whatever it is you want. Okay? So you can, if you are, are adding a user, it could be uh, your best friend, it could be a partner in the business, and so on. It's important to add an alternate email address to communicate with you if, there, if ever there's an issue with your email. Okay, uh, It's important to write down which country you're from, if United States, Canada, or every, anywhere, and the language of choice for corresponding with us, and so on. Okay, Now, this is where you will create... Um, then you will have to click here, add user, and it's as simple as that. Okay. Now, you can add forward-only accounts. You can create any number of names here, nicknames, and every email that you receive at that email account will not be kept in a webmail, but will be forwarded to a Gmail or a Hotmail account. So this uh, creates flexibility. Then you would click on add account. Okay. So here you can add mailing lists, you can manage your mailing lists, you can do a whole bunch of things. And remember to log out. So now, oh, I forgot to show you something. So let's log back in. Okay, let's get rid of this screen here. And let's manage email. Here we go. Now, let's look at manage users. Here you see I've already created two email accounts, info at his new domain and um, Sylvain Henry at his new domain. Now you can edit these, change passwords and so on, or you can remove these by clicking on this and you can delete or suspend or, or whatnot, okay? And if you get business email, then you can have a whole list of email accounts, a number of people who could have web-based email. Remember to always log out when you're done with a session. Okay, now back to this screen. So remember how to log in to your web-based uh, email address. Okay, you type in your password and remember the email address is for your new domain and then you log in. And then when you log in you come up to here and here you can... Uh, there are so many features in this email address um, email system that um, I'm just talking about an overview right now, but we'll talk in greater depth about the email application itself later. It looks empty now because there are no emails. So right now, this is all I have about uh, the topic of creating your free email accounts. Remember, if you have any questions, to contact us at cybername.com-support or just click on support right here. And um, you can contact us directly. If you see this orange banner, click live chat. If you like to learn on your own, you can click on tutorials. If you have an emergency, you can ask for express support. This is for left-handed people. For right-handed people, you have live chat here right at the bottom. Okay? So, thank you very much for being with us again. And uh, that's it for creating your free email accounts.